loaded with spin, touch, and precision, the new EZO 98305 has a few updates worth noting. The new isometric head shape offers a large sweet spot, while the addition of hypermodulus graphite in the upper hoop offers less frame bending at impact for additional power and stability. The updated grommet system does a good job of soaking up any unwanted vibrations, making this a crisp and precise racket for modern players. Our playtesters hit the E-Zone 98 side by side with the E-Zone 100. Out of the two rackets, our playtester Simone preferred the E-Zone 98. The racket provided him with ample power and more stability compared to the 100. Thanks to the 98's additional mass, it drove through the ball with better stability, which impressed him from the baseline. Simone simply got more feel in his shots with the 98 compared to the 100. According to our playtest team, this update is not as plush as a previous DR version. It felt decidedly firmer, especially at the tip of the racket, where the feedback was a little too firm for some. On the upside, the majority of our team was able to play very effective tennis with the E-Zone 98. When switching from the DR version to this new E-Zone 98, we found some minor issues with control due to the added power of this update. On the plus side, the E-Zone 98 provided more powerful and spin-friendly shots, which made it more effective on those put-away shots and big winners. Some of the highest praise was awarded for serves, where this racket whipped powerfully through contact. The result was plenty of pace and excellent spin. Serving wasn't just all about power, though. Our testers found enough precision to consistently hit their targets. The E-Zone 98 is most likely going to appeal to stronger intermediate through advanced level players. Ultimately, the new E-Zone 98 offers an interesting point of difference compared to the previous DR version. Some players are likely to prefer the softer, more muted feel of the DR, while others will definitely appreciate the firmer and more powerful response provided by this update.